Taliban say they have the, they are the most popular group in Afghanistan. Very well. Let's hold an election. Let's see who people of Afghanistan decide to support. If it's you, I'll be ready to be hanged in the center of Kabul. I love one thing more than anything. I have a sweet daughter that I'm in love with, but even more than my daughter, and my family, than my father and his legacy, than my people and my country. Sham, I love freedom. I truly love it. Who is supporting you? Do you have any countries? That's just the people of Afghanistan. And God. And God. <laughs> yes. Well, that's a good ally. Yeah, that's good. That's the biggest that's ally. That's the only one you need. That's all we need. That's why I'm very much uh, positive and I'm very much always energized and I'm very much happy because uh, I truly believe that the path that we are taking is the right path. And I didn't wait for the permission of United States or Russia or China or Iran or any other country to tell me that, okay, you're allowed to fight or no, don't fight. I was at my home with my people. They came to kill me, my people, my sisters, my mothers, and to take my land and brought foreigners with them that had no relationship with my religion I had every right to fight them. My religious values allow me to fight them and I didn't need any permission for it. And that is why they are not supporting me because I didn't take any permission and I'm not aligned with any policies they have. But let's face it, Sean, I don't care actually, to be honest, because for me, what I care is my people. And that's why no, almost nobody in Afghanistan is supporting Taliban. If truly they support Taliban, this is one of the main discussion that we have in the past two years, three years. Okay, Taliban say they have the, they are the most popular group in Afghanistan. Very well. Let's hold an election. Let's see who people of Afghanistan decide to support. If it's you, I'll be ready to be hanged in the center of Kabul. I'll be ready to be just a teacher in Kabul. I'll be ready to live on, I don't know, some island to be in exile. Anything you say. If you truly feel that you have the popular vote, allow people to decide. Because one thing I believe, I love one thing more than anything. I have a sweet daughter that I'm in love with, but even more than my daughter, and my family, than my father and his legacy than my people and my country. Sean, I love freedom. I truly love it. Me too. I just, it's, it's the best and biggest gift of God to every human being. It's their freedom, right? So, if the Taliban truly say they should give freedom back to people and that freedom can be defined the people must decide what they want for the future. I'm not saying for the Taliban to allow me to rule. I'm just saying, let's people decide. And uh, probably I won't even run for an election because there are very far better capable men and women to be able to, to run the country. But all I'm saying is that freedom is worth dying for and that freedom is something no one is allowed to take from another human being. Right now, the Taliban have taken the freedom from 40 million Afghans, including myself. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it is my understanding that there are a number of neighboring countries who are completely against the Taliban and know better than to deal with them. From my understanding, Pakistan, Iran, and Tajikistan. Am I correct? Uh, well, as I mentioned at the beginning, I believe no country is happy with the current situation. Because Pakistan, although they supported Taliban for almost three decades, but they got a taste of their own medicine. They took the American money for war on terrorism they invested back in terrorism. 
The terrorism activity in Pakistan increased according to their own data, 500%, as I mentioned before. So they realized this was not what we wanted. They thought they could keep the control of the Taliban. You cannot control fire. Uh, Iran, after the collapse of Afghanistan government, they realized that the immigrants who were in Iran, who, which was about 2 million, increased to 6 million people. Iran is already having a very difficult time economically. So that was another 6 million on top of their own population, which needed to be fed, protected, supported, educated, and blah, blah. And the threats in terms of security and stuff, which was being uh, opposing itself on Iran from Afghanistan. Tajikistan, same thing. So and I believe the current situation is not in favor of any other, any country. However, except Tajikistan, which is standing with the people of Afghanistan based on one demand, exactly what I just told you, election. People to be able to decide. The other countries, they are not being very clear. Not Pakistan, not Iran, their policy is not only uh, clear in terms of uh, a legitimate government in Afghanistan, but actually very vague. And uh, engaging with Taliban, giving, for example, Iran gave uh, Afghanistan embassy to the Taliban, Afghanistan consulate to the Taliban. And Pakistan was one of the first countries which gave Afghanistan embassy to Taliban. Russians gave Afghanistan embassy to the Taliban. So therefore, uh, uh, this is, this is uh, very unfortunate that such countries are having such ties with the Taliban and not realizing that such policies, it only involves Taliban and doesn't matter how much you bribe Taliban or give them something to appease to Taliban. Such mentality, it just wants to spread. And without a legitimate government in Afghanistan, all these, all those issues they have in their head, it cannot be solved. Has the, has the U.S. discouraged other countries from aiding you and the resistance? With their statement and their uh, uh, policies, uh, I believe so. And maybe not directly, but their policies is indicating that they do not want any uh, insurgency or any uh, freedom fighting to happen against the Taliban. Probably that is one of the things they promised to the Taliban, that after our withdrawal, we were not going to support any opposition uh, and we won't allow anyone to support the, your opposition. Probably it's one of those hidden parts of the Doha deal. No matter where you're watching Sean Ryan show from, if you get anything out of this, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, share this everywhere you possibly can. And if you're feeling extra generous, please leave us a review on Apple and Spotify podcasts.